Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all water signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. We have the Tower, we have the Six of Cups clarified by the Ace of Cups, we have Judgment, and we have the Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much anybody as long as this person is coming back from the past. As a matter of fact, it's a blast from the past. So the first card that came out is the Tower. The Tower could symbolize um, the relationship or a connection that uh, ended probably abruptly or in a very negative way between the two of you in the past or if we want to stay positive <laughs> the way I usually try to stay the tower could symbolize the uh, energy of this person unexpectedly showing back up in your life right then uh, the next card I came out is the six of cups this is somebody coming back from the past and so is the judgment card right next to it right next to the deck this is the judgment card this is somebody coming back from the past so two cards of uh, somebody returning and also the tower so this is a blast from the past <laughs> the six of cups is clarified by the ace of cups um, so i believe this is all about love the ace of cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love offers so um, yep this person will um, tell you that they can't live without you, they can't forget about you, and uh, they're still madly in love with you. And uh, with the three ones on the bottom of the deck, you will have to make up your mind, you'll have to make a decision in regards to what you want to do here. The three ones is my card of somebody who already made up their mind, so already somebody who already made, your dis made their decision. So perhaps your mind is already made up and uh, you're turning your back to this person, or by the end of the weekend you will have a decision, you'll have an answer for this person. Um, the Ace of Cups is a great card to have, so if you have any doubts about what this person feels, the Ace of Cups is uh, the representation of their actual feelings. They do have genuine and authentic emotions for you, water signs, but like I said, ultimately you'll be the one making a decision about this situation or about this person. All right. Cancer. We have the Chariot, we have uh, the Empress, we have Death, clarified by the Ace of Cups, and we also have Judgment on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with another Cancer or a Scorpio. A very interesting and a very powerful spread, Cancer. Um, the first four cards that came out um, before I started clarifying were all major Arcana cards, four of them. So this is going to be a very significant weekend for you, Cancer. You could be dealing with somebody coming back from the past, because Judgment, on the bottom of the deck, with the Death card, I guess, <laughs> it could represent somebody coming back from the past. If it's not somebody from the past, then uh, this new love offer, and we'll get to that in just a second, will drastically transform your life, and I think it's going to transform your life for the better. So, um, and with the judgment call, you will have to make that judgment, I mean with the judgment card, you'll have to make a judgment call in regards to this love offer coming towards you. So, speaking of the love offer, the death card, which came out last, is clarified by the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is always about a very genuine and authentic love offer coming towards you. The death card could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, right? The death card is the personal Scorpio card, or it could symbolize somebody from the past, or it could symbolize uh, that drastic transformation of your life if you are to accept this offer. Then we have uh, the Empress right next to the death card. The Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck. The Empress is uh, abundance in its purest form. And uh, the first card I came out is the Chariot. The Chariot is your personal card, Cancer. That is you. So like I said, four major Arcana cards and uh, the Ace of Cups. Um, so whatever you decide to do, this will still transform your life in a very drastic way. It's like it's going to be uh, like your life was one way before the weekend, before this offer, and uh, your life will be completely different after this offer should you choose to accept it. Um, yeah, so get ready. Cancer, a very important weekend. Scorpio. 
We have the King of Cups, we have the Page of Wands, we have the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water sign, Cancer, another Scorpio, or Pisces. So this King of Cups is either um, another person you're dealing with, could be a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or it could be you, Scorpio. Because uh, King of Cups is a Water Court card, right? So male or female absolutely doesn't matter. So if you have children, then this weekend is going to be all about those children. If you are an instructor or you are a teacher, you'll be dealing <laughs> with those kids as well. It could be that uh, somebody wants you to babysit their children, right? Or you could be going to um, a kid's birthday party, so it's going to be all about kids as well. <laughs> um, or... This weekend is going to be all about communication, all sorts of communication, because pages, if these are not children, then this is communication. Perhaps you are trying to organize something, or you are a member of um, some kind of a club where everybody will all of a sudden start chatting online or in person, right? Or somebody is trying to talk you into something, or it could be multiple people trying to talk you into something. Or it could be you trying to talk someone into something. Or you could be uh, just one of the people who is, um, you know, trying to talk someone into something. It's something simple, I guess, like that. <laughs> but for most of you, I think it will have to do with uh, children. All right? Cool. Pisces. We have the Six of Swords, clarified by the Page of Swords. We have the Teal of Wands, clarified by the Seven of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles. And we also have uh, the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much anybody. So, um, I see communication or information coming towards you. It will most likely uh, somehow affect your family, your relationship, or your marriage. And uh, it will make you think. It will make you think long and hard. So, we've got the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of a family or a relationship or this is a card of a marriage, right? Then the first card that came out is the Six of Swords and it's clarified by the Page of Swords. Both of those cards, I believe this is that information or communication coming towards you. It could be in the form of a letter, an email, or a phone call. And uh, there you are with the Teal Wands, clarified by the Seven of Cups, thinking about it really hard. Really, really hard. It could be an offer to start a new job. It could be... Um, just some sort of information from a government organization, right? So this is uh, you with the Teal of Wands making the decision and uh, the Seven of Cups clarifying the Teal of uh, Wands. This is also a card of a multiple choice or this is you trying to make a very hard decision. Perhaps you're a little bit confused. You don't know what to do immediately. So that's why you're thinking. And uh, we have the Six of Pentacles right next to the deck. This is a card of somebody who is also trying to make a decision because the person standing in the middle is holding up the scale. So it's all about pros and cons. The Six of Pentacles could also be related to finances somehow. So like I said, if this is a new job offer or a financial opportunity offer, you will be thinking long and hard. And all of it obviously has to do with your family or your marriage, if you are to accept this new job, perhaps you will have to adjust something that has to do with your family, like your lifestyle, perhaps you'll have to wake up earlier or later, you'll have to work weekends every once in a while, something among those lines, right? So your family or your marriage will be affected in some shape or form. I don't really see it as a negative spread. Um, this The focal point of this Spread is the TO ones clarified by the Seven of Cups. This is you uh, struggling a little bit with uh, making a decision. All right, cool. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.